It's a pleasure having you again, my friends. In this video, we'll be looking at the solutions to questions 57 and 58. Now, in question 57, it states, the image of a point P negative 2, 3 under a translation 3, 4 is... Now, if you notice, my friends, they're asking us to find the image and they have given us the object point. So basically, what they have given us here, and let me just make some quick notes, or this is our object and they have given us the translation vector okay now obviously object plus or translation vector is equal to the image point okay and that's just a neat little formula that uh, you can use to calculate the image point now the object point that they gave us and we're going to write the object point in uh, in vector form so we would have negative 2 at the top and we would have the positive 3 at the bottom, okay? And we're adding to that the translation vector, which is 3, 4, okay? And that should give us our respective image point. Now, if you notice, we have a negative 2 plus 3, that would give us a positive 1. We have a 3 plus 4, that would give us a 7, okay? Now, here we have it, or image point or respective image point would be 1, 7. But remember, this should be written in coordinate form. So in coordinate form, we would have positive 1, 7, okay? Because we are working out a coordinate. Now, if you notice carefully, that would be our option D. That would be the correct option, okay? 1, 7. Now, quickly, let's move on to uh, question 58. Now, in question 58, it states, a ladder five meters long is leaning against a vertical wall. The foot of the ladder is three meters away from the wall. How far up the wall does the ladder reach? Okay, I mean, right away, I could look at this and I know that the answer is basically four meters. Okay, um, right away without even calculating it. And I'm just going to show you the basic concepts behind that now, my friends. If you notice... Let's say, let, let, let's do a quick sketch of our wall. Let's say this is our vertical wall. So let's just do some quick, 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 very quickly sketch. And this is just a section of the wall, okay? I'm not drawing the entire wall. So we could just break it off right there, okay? Let's just break it off right there. Now, these would extend to there. Let's extend these quickly. So our wall would be looking something pretty much pretty much like this. We would have some blocks there, then we would have some more blocks there. Then we would just break, take down these a little bit. Okay, so let's just put in some quick designs in our wall, okay? Now, you know our grass would be green, so let's just, let's just use a green to represent the ground here. Okay, so this is our horizontal ground. All right, so this would come down a little bit our wall would come down oops sorry about that so and this is just to give you a quick idea of, as to what's happening a quick intuition behind a question like this okay guys now let's use let, let's use a beautiful color to draw the ladder let's use this deep brown so let's say this is our ladder okay my friends let's say that's our ladder that's our ladder there okay let's just do something like that and it's sideways okay we're looking at it say that's our ladder okay so good now this is the whole sketch this is the, the, the this is the whole idea behind a question like this now they're asking they gave us some critical information they said that a ladder five meters long so obviously the distance from here if this is if this slant here represents the ladder the distance from here to here would be five five meters rather Okay, so this would be 5 meters, and that's that distance there. And they have stated here, again, my friends, the foot of the ladder is 3 meters away from the vertical wall. Now, if you notice again, my friends, let's just, let's just quickly drop in these critical pieces of information. The foot of the ladder is there, and the vertical wall is right here. And they have stated that it is 3 meters away from it, okay? So we could just simply put in our 3 meters. Now, if you notice, the vertical wall meets the horizontal ground at an angle of 90 degrees, okay? So this angle here is an angle of 90 degrees. Now, basically, what you have here in the shape is a right angle triangle, if you're looking carefully. 
Now, given the fact that we have a right angle triangle and we have the length of two sides, then we can use Pythagoras theorem to find the length of the other side, the missing side. So we could simply say h square, and let me use another color. We could simply say h square is equal to a square. h square is equal to a square plus b square, okay? And we could just simply substitute values. Re remember the hypotenuse, H represents the hypotenuse and the hypotenuse is across from the, uh, the 90 degree angle here, okay? So that side over there would be called the hypotenuse. So I could just simply substitute by saying five squared is equal to A is three, three squared plus B squared, okay? Five squared is really 25, and this is equal to three squared is the same as three times three, which is nine, okay? Remember, five squared is the same as five times five, which is 25, plus B squared, okay? Now, simply we could, by transposition, I could take the nine across. Since it's positive here, when it goes across the equal sign, it will become a negative nine, okay? So I have a 25 minus nine is equal to B squared, okay? So obviously, here now 25 minus 9 oops sorry about that 25 minus 9 that would leave us with a 16 is equal to b square now since we want to find the value of b which is really the height of the vertical wall then we would have to do the opposite of square which is to take the square root of both sides okay now the square root of b is b and the square root of 16 is 4 so obviously the the wall would be 4 meters high okay so it would be four meters as we have stated there initially hope this was useful see you in the other videos when we'll be looking at questions 59 and question 60 bye bye